Ladies and gentlemen, this is Walter Crankwright, and this is a special Watergate report. We've just received word that Tricky Dicky is about to speak. We now take you to our special White House correspondent, Roger Mudley. Well, thank you very much, Walter. Apparently, there's been some delay in Tricky Dicky's arrival. Roger, Roger. Yes, Walter, Walter. While we're waiting, I understand many of Washington's dignitaries are there for Tricky Dicky's address. Uh, yes, Walter. As a matter of fact, beside me right now is a lady who always seems involved in some political squabble. Mouth official, could you tell our listeners what you said to your husband, John, when you heard he might be involved in the Watergate affair? Funny face, I love you. Funny face, I need you. And what was his reply? I'm up on a tight rope. One side's hate and one is hope. Seriously, Mr. Fitchell, you and Martha have had differences in the past. What is it that she does or doesn't do that disturbs you the most? She simply would not take the garbage out. Also with us, a man very close to Tricky Dicky, a next-door neighbor, B.B. Bobo. B.B., what did Tricky do when he first heard about Watergate? He did the monster match. The monster match. B.B., as you know, Tricky Dicky is late in arriving for his speech. What reason has he given? Splish, splash, I was taking the bell. Roger, this is Waller again. Earlier today, I visited with the First Lady. This was her reaction to Watergate. Oh, my God. And, Pat, what are you going to do to assure your husband that regardless of the outcome of Watergate, you're still behind him? I also asked an unofficial White House source just when he thought this whole mess would be cleared up. In the year 25, 25. Later, I spoke with one of Tricky Dicky's closest advisors and asked him what Tricky Dicky would say to the American public concerning Watergate. Not three times on the ceiling if you want me. Roger Mudley at the White House has a new development in the Watergate affair. Yes, Walter, I just received word that Tricky Dicky might be quite late. However, he has issued this statement. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Uh, Walter, I have Henry Kissinger with me. Mr. Kissinger, if we may, let's leave the Watergate affair for a moment. The whole world would like to know the key to your success in foreign relations. Now, what did you say to the foreign diplomat? Go to the world. And what did they say to you? You're so vain. Roger, we've been informed that due to reasons we're not sure of, Tricky Dicky will not be arriving. His newly appointed head of public relations is about to speak. Amen. That star of the silver screen, every mother's dream, that flag-waving, red-blooded American cowboy, Duke Payne. Let's listen. United we stand, divided we fall. We're Americans, and that says it all. For Roger Mudley, this is Walter Crankwright. Stay tuned to this station for further developments in Watergate.